Our next guest is a best-selling author of Facing Death, Finding Life. She's here to share some insight on her new book and how you can get a copy. Welcome to the show, DJ Chang. Thank you. Yes. Great to be here. Yes, pleasure. Uh, now tell me this. It's, this is a new book, Copyright 2018. This is new. Yes, it is. All right. What an accomplishment in a published <laughs> author. You. Fantastic. All right, so how, let's jump right into it. How has faith shaped your life? And talk a bit about uh, the LGBTQ and how that shaped your life as well. Sure. Um, so I, I've been blessed uh, somehow growing up in a family that had no um, religion, no specific faith, but um, my caregiver, who was the servant of my grandfather, was actually a very devout uh, Buddhist. Mm. And... Um, uh, unfortunately for me, when I was nine years old, he, he tragically had a heart attack uh, right under my hands when he was babysitting for me. Um, but somehow I always um, have had this faith. And as I um, studied Christianity and I learned about the, the compassion and the um, commitment to service and love, um, it became my faith and and it just was something that I always had and um, and I grew into it uh, as I as I grew older mm -hmm. um, and studied more about about Jesus and um, the Christian faith mm -hmm. um, and it's it's something that's shaped my life it's shaped how I've uh, looked at um, you know how to, how I make meaning of my work um, initially working for the homeless and then um, working for the biopharmaceutical companies um, trying to get um, you know bring new new uh, medicines to market for medical unmet medical need mm -hmm. and um, and now as a, a social purpose entrepreneur um, my faith is is what's driven me and this is really what inspired you to write this book. Yes. Um, I mean, especially um, my the love story between my partner and I um, has been a 33-year love story um, where she was actually diagnosed with, with AIDS um, in 1986. And, you know, through some miracles have sur for survived, um, you know, four times of almost being on the brink of death. Wow. Um, four times. Yeah. Okay, so with that said, what, give us a couple of myths as far as HIV and AIDS today. Yeah, I think some myths are that um, one, you can you know you can catch AIDS from you know touching someone or from mosquitoes. Um, I think also you know people believe that um, you know maybe there's a cure now for AIDS. Mm -hmm. uh, people think. Um, People would assume that uh, once you get HIV, you can transmit it at any time. But in reality, if you can suppress the virus enough so that um, so that it's become undetectable, you actually can't transmit it to anybody else. Mm -hmm. um, and I think the biggest one now is that um, that it's it's nothing to be worried about because there are drugs that treat it. Mm -hmm. And and really. Um, it's still a big deal to to get HIV. Um, you know, the medicines have uh, side effects and are hugely expensive. Mm -hmm, so, mm -hmm. really, prevention is still the best. Uh, mm -hmm. All right, we we're going to have to get you back because we're almost out of time. I uh -huh. wasn't able to ask all of the questions, but a uh, question for you is: What is the message of this book? If you could summarize that. Yeah, I think for me, the message is: um, it's about free will and the the gift of mistakes. Mm -hmm. I think I've made plenty of mistakes in my life, but it's I've always found that I've come to the place that I'm meant to be. Mm -hmm. I like so. that. All right, fantastic. All right, to get a copy of this one-of-a-kind book, find it on Amazon mm -hmm. or follow the link listed below. A big thanks to DJ Chang for being here and always a big thanks to you. We'll see you in just a moment. Thanks.